What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. Today will be episode 2, and I'm very interested in getting to the story, so let's get this started right away. Let's go. What's going on? Oh, yeah. We left off on where Larry wanted to show us something before, so... It's gonna show us something. There's stairs over here. I didn't look over here last time. I should've talked to you. Just went outside. Oh, what's up, Larry? There's a camera back there, man. Is it a base? Oh, no, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a basement. It's a basement of the ground. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Whoa, whole treehouse, dog. Awesome. Yo, let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's climb up. What are we doing up here? Woo. Ooh. Come on. Show me the inside. This is cool. I always wanted to have a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he uh, disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean he disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was just gone. No, no. No nothing. All of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallets, his driver license, everything. He's just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard this that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my my parents loved each other. They hardly ever fought or anything. It it isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even even if that me oh god even if that means my mom chose to believe i know he wouldn't ever leave us like that he loved us i believe you what do you think happened look you know i'm not generally superstitious superstitious okay and i know you and chug swear that the apartments are haunted but well i think it's something else like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My, my parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, I, I was coming down in the elevator, and that's when I saw the demon. Oh. <sighs> He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything, everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in Juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanders, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's something, some kind of curse on you, you you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Hmm. What does this demon look like? It was nothing i ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty. But, but it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierce right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear. I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. 
I don't know, dude. What if we... What if we break in... Break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around... Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We could try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I'm not... I got nothing to lose. Okay, man. Let's do this shit, bro. Let's look around, though. I'm look around. Aw. Happy family. Huh. Huh. That's strange. What is it? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. I spoke in your voice. I'm sorry, buddy. I shouldn't have done that. Don't look at me like that. Why are you just staring? Yo, what's up? A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Don't like anything. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Nature Live. Oh, sorry. A worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to, to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to a live one. Damn. There's some, there's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Let's keep looking before... Oh, never mind. That's it. Never mind. We're just going to take it. Dude, I got this. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. I never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Cool, dude. Just let me know if you can just get it open. Of course. How much time do you, bro? It's getting pretty cold out. We should head back inside now. Ah, uh, ready whenever you are. I think we're pretty good to go. Ch oh, chess? I got that weird box from here. Doesn't there seem to be anything else? Okay, I'm sorry. The cabinet. Nothing useful in there. Okay, nothing else. Let's go, bruh. Let's go, bruh. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Larry. You're a cool dude, bro. You're a cool dude. I'm sad that you're not in his life anymore, though. Let's go, Larry. Dang, man. I hope I don't get my feels in this game. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna keep looking around and see what I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Thanks, Bane. Hmm. Dog? What? That tree wasn't... Was that tree there before? No. It... Wait. Is that the tree? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I should ask me, Megan, if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Whoa, we've been here for a while, bro. We got, we're up in the photo. Yo. Mr. Demon? You got? The music changed for this one. Dude, I like it. Oh, that's a nice fucking paint. That's a nice painting right there. I like that one. Right in there, though. Awesome, dude. Alright. How do I go check on the mother? What's up, bruh? Hey, Lisa, you feeling any better? Oh, hi, Sal. I, I, I think today might be the worst of it. I'm over this hump. I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Uh, don't worry about me, Sal. I, I've been resting plenty. Plenty. And Larry has been so useful, too. I'll just be fine. Okay, buddy. Mm. Okay, we'll leave. All right, let's go talk to Megan, wherever Megan's at. Where is Megan? Is this Megan? Where'd the food go? 
food's gone. We're starving. I gotta eat you. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I've been waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. I just started the week uh, weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. I gotta go find some person called Megan, and I don't know where Megan's at. Where is this Megan? Who is it? It's Al from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right, come in then. The door is open. Have you seen Megan? I've been trying to talk. Whoa, you're old. I'm sorry, I was rude. <laughs> Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rose Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I got now. Yes, time's all I have. Even that'll slip away from me soon. Or maybe I've never really had a grass to win out at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone. The mind can drift. A great deal wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into those thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You have something you wanted to ask? How long have you lived here? Long enough, though it's hard to say exactly my old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my conscience will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that it's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. Trust me when I say this. I've tried. Yes, a powerful dreadful empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What's your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when Addison's moved here. Moved from here. Moved here. Overseas. To construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first. But I decided to sell to the Addison since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Someone to share the anguish of life with. Wow, you're demented. <laughs> I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear. Though it all eventually becomes meaningless. About the Addisons. What happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now. But that's what I, how I see him. As a young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves a god forsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked up in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed. If you ask me, the boy was so wound up he was afraid of his own shadow. Terrence worshipped his father, gave, his, gave up on his dreams of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day, he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts, out, puts forth from behind the door, Terrence Addison is about as timid as to become. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you ever seen a ghost in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do owe Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while you while it lasts. Don't be so consumed by the lore of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes. It's a quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we are all ghosts, really. Just wait in the past from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, all small mishaps could send us really into eternity in the blink of an eye. And God damn, Rosenberg, you're so nihilistic. I think that's the right word. You're so, you're so dark. 
bye 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 we're just gonna say bye to you i'm sure we now know a lot about the um the people now so i think miss gibson would kill me if i bother her again okay oh there's cameras now oh that's a new update the update of the security okay addison 104 i don't think anyone lives here okay we're Oh, four, three, it's all tore up. Can someone tell me where the hell this Megan's at? They just assumed that I will find it on my own. No, because I'm stupid. And we're going to talk to every person we've talked to Megan. Maybe we'll find Megan on the way. The people that lived here moved out after what happened to with Charlie. Okay, they're gone. Oh, this is Charlie's old... Old place. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna. That was Charlie's old room. I, I, I forgot about that. I don't know about him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Okay. Hmm. Still nothing with 201. And Sally didn't say anything about 2. Okay. Anything about the 201. Probably make it lives on the fourth floor, but we're gonna go floor by floor and see what's new. Oh! David! Jesus, David, put some pants on. Uh. Oh, hi, Sal. What is up today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night. Our last time, I barely get any sheep uh, uh, ar around here. Uh, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally Yen, Sally you just gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Why did you see your pants? <laughs> oh, well, uh, they're in the wash. Still, Sarah was supposed to go down and get them at, but we just got to talking, you know, last track of time. I don't know what kind of voice to give you some slice, so that's your voice, random. <laughs> They're pretty busy right now, I probably shouldn't bother them. Oh, college students? Davis place, okay. Chug's place, not, no one's home. Oh, okay. Let's go up. I didn't know you could see the names. That makes it much easier after... Maybe they renovated the top floor. Alright, I have... Zero ideas where is this Megan person at locked. This is the list of the old dude. How weird dude. I should call Larry up here so you can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that at his apartment. Are haunted. Megan is a ghost? What? I thought we were looking for somebody. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to the 504 apartment? Sure, my mom just took her medicine. She'll be passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. What's up, Larry? So what is it? You want to show me? Come on, she's in the bedroom. Bathroom. She? Just come on. Then the bathroom's over here. Oh no, um, Larry, I'm stupid. The bathroom's that way. Don't mind me. Don't mind the handprints. Damn. Damn, this, the, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. Uh. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. 
As weird as this is, I believe you. Okay, you're my best bud, and if this helps at all, with finding my dad, <sighs> gentlemen, I'm up for it, man. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling, dude. Know who you should go talk to? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and. He's also into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh? I never expected that. He wouldn't believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go talk to him and see what's up. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna head back downstairs make sure my mom's alright, dude. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. All right, we gotta go find some Todd. Wherever Todd is, that's where Todd's at. Cause to be honest, I don't even know where Todd's at. So we're gonna go figure it out. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think who Todd is. Todd, what's up, bro? Hmm. Hey, Sally face. Hey, Sally face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up tutoring wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Okay. Nah dude. Hey, I'm Ash. <laughs> you must be Sally Face. I heard so much about you. Uh uh me uh you have? What? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I can finally meet you. Me, me too, uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to uh, meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I gotta keep going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We could talk more on Algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later, hopefully. I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that, that'll be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. She a party rocker. Come on, Todd. Y you too. You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. Okay. What brings you this way? Uh, Ash seems like seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What does she like? Her full name. Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us. An overall nice person. And I can't believe we're all freshmen, but hey, you look like a dude, bro. Like a grown ass man. But hey, man, I can't judge you. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. Uh, sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness, consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed an unexplainable phenomenon firsthand, I will require concrete evidence to declare with certainty that I believe in ghosts, though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I heard someone coughing. Who's coughing, dog? <laughs> that makes sense. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanders? No, it's something else. This building is haunted. I'm trying to find more. I'm trying to find out more about ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me about your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploitation, exploration of paranormal. Especially, I have a suspicion that a, an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yeah, it, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. That is weird. However, it also it also could be that the water pipes act 
as some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is the only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cart cartridge with you now? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call it upon Muggin? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's in there? It doesn't light up every time. Usually, I just start talking to her. And sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're, f we're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing's happening, and the game isn't lighting uh, up either. <sighs> I have an idea. Let me, let me see that. I can. I bet. I bet I can modify your Gear Boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I would need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Okay, an antenna and a battery pack. Dude, oh, they do that. I can't remember what it's called when they do that kind of stuff. That is crazy. Ah, uh, I don't want to bother them. They're sick. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, we'll come back. We'll come back to Todd in a minute. We gotta figure out a battery pack. That's the thing. Why the hell am I getting a battery pack? How the hell am I gonna get a battery pack? Who the hell am I gonna talk to? Let's go to the basement and see what's in the last of Damn. That's our choice of words today. Nope, really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Hey, hey Chuck. You ever seen some ghosts lately? No, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. See ya. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Weird. So I'm just gonna run up in here in your place, buddy, and try to find some stuff. I need to find a battery pack, but I can go to my. Let's go to my my apartment first. Let's go back. Let's let's get let's go back to the apartment. See what's up in there. Um, four. Okay. So, oh, what am I doing? Ah, no. No, oh my god, what did I do? Yeah! Alright, we're up in the room now. Yes, Mo. Wait. What you watching, buddy? Meow. Gizmo. That is crazy what you're watching. What the hell? Let's see this thing up in here. No. Gizmo is just chilling, bro. Living room. Nothing in there. I love how the cats like that, though. That's awesome. Oh, our stuff is Edward Shovel Head. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. I guess we could talk to Larry. Oh, we do talk to Larry. Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh. 
I guess that'd be okay. Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Yeah, bro, let's go. Dog. Let me check out your treehouse. Enjoy your head bacon. Enjoy the head bacon. Okay, let's go see what's up in the. Anything is in the treehouse. If there's not, I have no clue. And I'll have to cut to some point when I find it. Like, I'm not gonna have you people, have you guys watch um, me. Run around, not knowing what the heck to do. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna just cut from here, and I'll be right back when we find the battery pack. So you need a battery, not battery pack, but just battery. All right, I legit check out where. I'm just gonna talk to this dude again and see what the hell is going on. Will this work for the reception? Antenna? Okay, I can give him an antenna. Yes, this will work perfectly. Will this work for the power? Walkie talkie? Yes, the battery for your- Oh my god, the battery for my walkie talkie? I didn't- I didn't think about that. I've been looking everywhere for this. Oh my god. Yes, the battery for your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. But the two components you retrieved are my own equipment, and I can- uh, Identically, adequately, make the modifications to the Gear Boy 1. Sp spoke of earlier, give me a moment to get it ready. Oh, I spoke of earlier. Um, okay, all set. Behold the Gear Super Gear Boy Boy! Gear Boy Boy Boy, Gear Boy Boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It will only be in a ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the best results, you need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the Y button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button. There to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby operations and to possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I can get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sorry, water break. Ah, my throat. <laughs> Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the gear, the gear bug, the super gear boy by pressing Y. Oh, that's how it was done. Oh. Um, maybe I... Oh! It worked. Holy crap. Oh, what's the matter? I I never thought he'll kill them. I, it, it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter, oh my. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a con to follow your heart. You must be romantic, like I was. It's kind of kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? Hmm. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? 
I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh my god, he was in the freaking mirror. I didn't was That that was a fully formed conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my feel of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murderers. That would be really helpful. Now, that would be really helpful. Thank you. That would be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extractionist static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out. You you may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Doing his voice hurts me a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I, wanna, I think I want to change his voice eventually. Or oh, he just dies. I mean, I don't care either way. I guess we go down to Larry now since we can't really talk to Larry on the walkie talkie anymore. So I guess we just go through there. All right, let's go down to the basement. Basement, here we go. Basement, here we go. What's up, Chug? One basement floor. Larry, Larry, my man. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Dude, check out the super gear boy. Todd made that. That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us some new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully it'll help to find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. I will be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Maybe? No, we're gonna go to Megan. We're gonna go to Megan. I think Megan's what we go to. Okay, let's just go to Megan. Megan! Well, if you're a guy. I don't, I don't know if you're a woman or a guy. Oh no, it's she. This is it's a girl. Hey, Megan, you wanna come out? Hmm. Mm. It won't work. Okay. Okay, living room. Hmm. Maybe we should check the treehouse because his dad built the thing and he disappeared. I'm not too sure. Let's see if we can find anything else out here. Hold it out, dude. This Game Boy became hella cool, bro. Well, Gear Boy, I can't. Ooh. Oh. That's some satanic shit. That did not look good at all. That is right, Sally Face. Hold on. Go in here. Okay. Oh. I mean, that was very crazy right there. Oh. That's a different symbol. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very weird. Okay. Maybe we should go check out the newspaper pile, I guess? That will be... Because we didn't check that out. Okay, that's locked. Oh, there's nothing in here. Let's just get it going. This is pointless to come in here. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you guys remembered, in Larry's uh, apartment, basement, whatever, um, in the kitchen, there was a ghost. So, let's, let's check that out. Maybe there's a, a clue? Nope. Oh, there is. Uh-oh. What the? Six? Maybe I go try some Larry, I guess. I'm sorry, just checking. Hey, let's stop. Oh, never mind. No, stop. At least you don't block my way, man. I'm gonna go check out your treehouse, home slice. The most somber, like, just soft song out here, man. Very memorial because of his dad. So good. It's so good. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was something here. Oh, Sal, who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, 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 the, the, uh, uh, live in I, what? No, is this, this Sal? Larry. Many lives will will beckon. Okay, you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I remember the red ball time. Remember yesterday. Remember the red ball. I haven't. I I haven't. Had oh my god yesterday that's yesterday remember the red ball what do you mean who what are you gone that's a bridge is going together to the red ball to die together what? wait stupid daughters oh, to die. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, when that then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. My life is weird. Our life is your life is weird, Sally. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Never mind. We don't talk about the ghosts in the treehouse. That's a weird painting of the vase. Okay. Charlie, you got anything to say? No. No, you ain't got nothing. We'll check this out over here. Nope. Oh. All right, let's uh. Okay, we're in the basement. Let's go check out the floor one. Well, we can go to uh, Charlie's room. Charlie's room. Charlie's room. Let's see what's going on up in here. Okay. Um, what? Devour. Oh god, whatever that means. Okay, I don't, like... What do I do after this? Okay. Todd's. This is Todd's place. I don't need to be in here. You know where everyone went to? My house. My apartment. Let's go there. Okay, we're into the bathroom. It'll be okay. Let's just get out of here. Go to the third floor and see what's up on the third floor. If 
I didn't think it's up on the third floor. My dad didn't think it's up. I think I got everything up to uh, floor five. Everything in the bottom two, one, two, and the tree house. Ain't going there. Ain't going there at all. Maybe I could bother the teenagers? Nope. Uh, okay. To my house. My apartment, not my house. Jesus. Let's get that right. I can't believe Megan's not there either way. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. That's my place. He's not home. Okay. What's up, cat? Maybe, maybe Megan's in my bathroom. No. You don't want to be in my bathroom? Okay. I got it. I got you. I got you. That's cool. Can't enjoy my cat gizmo. My cat gizmo was amazing. Vampire Hunter B. She lives. Okay, let's see if anything's haunting the the, the dog that the fata are. Okay. Well, I think that's it. So let's just go talk to Todd, I guess. Like, there's no one else to really talk to besides Todd because Larry's not gonna help too much. At least that's what I think. So, I think Todd was number two. I think. I can't remember. Yeah, Todd is number two. Let's go. Uh, nope. Ain't nothing in there. Hey, Todd. It's strange, but I find any reports. I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. The but look at this photo of him on the public record. Local murderer receives life sentence. What the? It gets even weirder. What? There's no chance of any uh, any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanders was killed. Not even the not even the classified police records. It's just as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep looking to things and check back in a little while. Okay, I'm going to keep searching for more supernatural stuff in the meantime. Perfect. Where... where would I go? Oh my god. <sighs> I guess it's time to figure this out. Let's go. The only other room I haven't scanned yet is Miss Rosen Rosenberg's place. So let's do this in here. Rosenberg, you're not. Oh, you're a very dark past. Oh! 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 Oh my! What is that horrific device you have? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Well, I should probably go check out with Todd again and see if he's found anything. Oh, okay. Huh. Rosenberg, you're a goddamn ghost. Yo, Damon. Yo, Damon. Freaking Damon. All right, Todd, tell me what's up. Ah. Megan Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, with parents Luke and Stacy. Oh, looks like... It may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up right. Well, there's... Here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report. One day after the original... F original was filed. Stating the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they've been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. We could. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even in the Super Gear Boy, perhaps find the necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. 
Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. I mean, I've checked everywhere, and I think you've probably seen stuff in the Lost and Found, because you did find that Gear Boy in there. So we can check the, the Lost and Found, at least. So clues, start. Because going around, I have, did not see anything, like, anywhere in the place with the necklace. But we can check this out, though, and see if we have to go f anywhere else. Oh. Oh, we were right. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Ha <laughs> ha, you have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Right? Ah. Oh, uh, you mean mommy's friend, like Greg? He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Mm, just that he's a nice and always brought me candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Where were you lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a different, a little different. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone now. But he doesn't always... He, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. He's probably the bread demon I did. What happened? I remember they had a fight and he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angerness. Angriness. Do you remember your last dates? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing out late Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. Haha. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know how? Any Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry, you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Hmm. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes. Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your your mother is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait. I... Oh. My god. Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tool for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it for him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you have a better luck. Sure, I'll get him some crack cocaine and he can like give me the thing. I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Bye, Larry. I'm just leaving you in there with the ghost. Oh, run the wrong way. Let's go see David. Hey, yo, David. Give me that crowbar now. Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in the 301? They're nice kids, but all they have these real loud parties sometimes shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you could, if you could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I'll let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, I'll talk to them. Thanks, uh, I'll do it myself, but I'm, I ain't got, I ain't have clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? 
It's not a problem. I'll be right back. Yeah, see ya. Hey, boys, I gotta bust some freaking kneecaps in here if y'all don't get quiet. Hey, CJ. Yo, what's up, CJ? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. How about this? Dude, I think this will put everyone to sleep. Okay, let's see. How about this? I do this one. This is the original, my original pick too. Mm. How about this? Huh, you know? Something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. Cool. Hey, you. What's up, college students? Y'all live in this, like, two-bedroom uh, apartment? Hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Fizz. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Bro, let the 15-year-old choose your party stuff, bro. This is how you do it. Can I take a look? Be my gaze. Duck, duck, moose, dodgeball. There's dodgeball. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I want to. How about this game? That was my first show. Though. Maybe I should just stick with my gut on this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're loud, loud. How about this one? Mm, you know, this one's over here, so that's a bunch of. Could just tip your knees. Thanks, so. I think that's right. When they show enthusiasm. I want you happy, guys. I want you happy, but I want my David, my brother, David, to be happy too. So I get the crowbar. Hey, Sarah, what are you up to? Oh, so I'm con contemplating an alternative, alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. It's just okay if I look over your list? Sure. Debate. D&D? &D. Movie night? How about this? Movie marathons are always fun, but unfortunately I don't think we'll be able to hear very well with everything going on. Let's just see, let's see, let's see. Let's do some... Let's do some video games. So video games? Is this your go-to? No, no, no. We need you to be happy. It's been a while since that's a perfect choice for tonight. I think that does it. The party should be much quieter now. I mean, chess. Three different things going on. Hey, David, now give me my goddamn crowbar now. Can I borrow your crowbar? I worked out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Uh... Out. Sarah will be so happy to last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. So hard not to do that voice. Right, let me grab the crowbar for you. One sec. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thank you, mother. Mother, brother. Okay, crowbar tame. Let's go. We got stuff to do. Bop, bop, bop. Let's go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Time to take this down. I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Yes. Larry, I need you to come and help me out. You got me doing this stuff. Damn, Larry. Hey, what's up, mommy? Oh, whoa. You, Stacy, you okay? Oh my gosh, she got murdered in her bed like that? Are you okay? She's 
she can't turn. Oh, there's a hole. Whoa, what's that? Looks like there's a room on the other side. No point in return. Um, uh, 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 yellow, bro. Go and live once. This is how we doing it, Sally. We die, we die. You gonna do this? Let's go. Oh my God! Someone killed themselves here. Uh, hello. Uh oh. In seeking prudence. Whoa. Whoa, what? What is this? Let me play that. I guess I got a freaking... She desperately saw a place among the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the in initiation trial to retrieve the Book of Forgotten Truths. Okay, let's go do this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. E, e, e. Don't murder me. I'm not sure if that will murder me. But I'm not, 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 not risking it. Woo! Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, 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 ah. I'm a G at this. I'm not sure. Oh! I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. All you did was walk between something. Let this book stand as a testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May your sight pierce the heavens and search and reach the uh, infinite and everlasting something. Uh, you know what? You know the drill. For we are the devourers of God. Okay. Level two in a and the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, "If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you." Ha! Huh, there was a lady named Rose Rosenberg. Now this is Jim. This is Jim. What's this? Ah. Oh! I knew that would kill us. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Enter. I gotta see what this does. Nothing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Bam. Brum. Okay, let's get it. Let's go, Jim. Let's go. Let's just go, Jim. Let's go, Jim. Let's go, Jim. Let's go. Woo! Yum. We in here, bro. We eat it. We doing it. We're beating it up. Let's go all the way up first. Hit that button up. Oh, gotta go back. What is this? What is this? Hmm. I don't know either. But we jambo over here. We getting it done. We don't take a no for an answer. We're not getting it done. I went the wrong way. Whee! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yum. Yum. Use key. Wow. Okay, this is simple. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Mmm, let's just go. What's up, Jim? Sorry, members only. Okay. Damn it. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. That's- this is Greg. All these rooms look the same. Well... Okay... Well, Greg, you have the worst one. Okay, so we need to choose the right one. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, it's like the beginning of a Sally phase, so we gotta choose the right door. Oh. 
Oh, oh, I can hear it. Okay, I can hear it. That's an indicator. Nice. Hey, what's up? Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Part of my rudeness, madam. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take, I take it you're not with the man of this church? No, madam. That's for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I tried to reason with them. I, re I reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. Damn. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy. Oh, Holmes. Okay, what's going on here? You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer. That's that's a glad to be a helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, when her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay. So she said, I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Oh, excuse me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dude, this is insane. Oh, dude, it's like telling a story with like in a, in a, in a like game wise way. So this is weird. The f mm, crazy. I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, you got, you got the juke shotgun. Get them away. Ah, get me through. Come, 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 come on. Oh, no. I can't take that now. Oh, where the heck are we going to go then? This door over here? Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and grade dispose of the bones. Oh, good. I've been... I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We got... We got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. Then I... Pray to God that this works. Whoa, whoa, this is some crazy stuff going on, bro. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Hmm. I don't know if this, this is like a Game Boy game way of saying something happened, and it's just like actually true. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In the moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Wow. We're just going deep. What's up here? What's up? Hmm. Oh. What? I can't go anywhere else. What the heck? What the heck am I doing? Let's go down. Okay. Going all the way down, I guess. Not too sure yet. About what's up. Let's go all the way down. This goes far, dude. What the heck? Oh, he even put Super Gear Boy. Holy sh... Okay, we need to go somewhere else. Well, that's not the way to go. What the hell happened? What? Um, okay. I guess our battery died. Alright, let's go this way. Ah. 
Oh. Okay. I found something. There we go. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and hushed now, my sweet angel. Everything's okay here. I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Hmm. Some bad stuff. Bad stuff happened here. And a young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the, castle, the council required. Okay, let's go. Holy crap, we're gonna be here for a minute again. Oh god, that scared me. Oh, what's, what's up? Is that it? I guess that was it. I don't know if that's what I was looking for. Can I go down? Oh, it was just straightforward. What? Oh, oh no! Ah, so there's more skulls around. So I guess around here there's a lot more, so... We went that way. Okay, 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 okay. Every pathway has a different skull. We just can't take too long here because it would cut the power. So let's go over here then. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. God, I had to juke that, so. That was a dead end, dude. Ooh, ooh. I get so anxious when I fly by these things so fast. Well, walk by these things so fast. Okay. There better be one over here. Oh, I gotta say. Oh, there was one. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good, the preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we are perform the summoning, I understand. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Everyone backed away like, oh no. <laughs> In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. All right, Luke. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh. Yes, you we will. And I go so freaking fast. The child would only slow us down. She would never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. Jesus, dude, you messed up. Daddy did not love you. <laughs> Walk with me into the undying flame and our power shall be endless. We killed... Ah, we probably killed Greg because Greg was trying to help out. And... Ah! I don't know, Greg probably, like, was trying to help out, and it just got worse in there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, what the f- Oh. Luke, can you hear me? Is that Luke? Luke? Oh, Luke killed himself. Whoa. Okay. Hi, Luke. You kind of ruined my buddy's life. Can you not do that? What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of those, uh, one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came right upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red eye Creo has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaking, was freaking damn. Oh wait, I thought living here with Charlie was freaky, oh freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. 
Well, I didn't. I didn't think we'll have a, to worry about the de the demon showing up anymore. Todd Stinky seemed to like take care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curses, all means that my dad he he just. Ah. Uh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, dude. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. It's okay, Dr. Anna, I think your name. Wait, that was only part of the story. I'd hope to get some honest insight from you today, especially with the, this being our last session and your child is just a few days. I swear on my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies? Demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. Buddy, buddy, we lived through it. Ah, <sighs> Eon. Listen, Anon? Whatever your name. Whatever. You really can't expect me to believe. Think about it from my perspective. The, the evidence against you for what you did? Well, it's profound. I know it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself, and you'll find all the proof you need. Bye bye, Sally Face. What a fucking psycho, huh? Come on, Doctor. Come on, Doctor. Give me a, give me a hand. Give me a hook. Come on, save Sal. What's up in this episode? Ooh, driving. Right, it's uh, it's uh, hands free right now, so I'm gonna enjoy myself. Please, I don't want to walk. Oh, damn, the bin is gone. What well, I gone? Just trash. Oh, I'm the ah, dang it! I didn't want to walk. I thought it was gonna be hands free. Can't go there, that's for sure. Floof. All right. Damn, this place became trashed up, brother. I wonder what happened to everybody. I guess we'll find out more of the story. I don't think this is the end. Alright. Mmm. Shelves. Rusty tools and other various junk. Or and a few old amateur painting. Probably Larry's. Boxes. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Picture. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Uh, there's obviously nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. Sal was so convincing. This whole thing seemed off. Whoa! Larry, you're dead! Oh, man. I can't believe you're dead, Larry. Fuck. Dr. the what, 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 what? Don't freak out, man. We just need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. You have to get Sal here. This, this, you're, you're, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... God damn it. What the fuck? Shit is right, Larry. Oh my god. Oh man. Damn, he broke that neck, bro. And his knees. Ah, ah damn. Ah, conjure. Damn, we got summoned. Oh. 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 Oh, whoa. Hello? Hi? What's up in here, my dudes? Sally? Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. At MF Denf. Oh, then flat, do not. Da da boo baby da da. Oh, it's this person. Others of place shit of keeps not must you. Tub. Earth. 
Something, something, bro. Speak, speak clearly. The only one who believed you is dead now. What should I do? Reap? Revenge. Huh? Uh, run! Run! Oh my... I don't know what that did. Ah! What does that do? What does that do? I don't know what that's doing. I'm just clicking things. No! Enter? There used to be a door here. Oh no, where's the door? I don't know, what was that puzzle? I wish I knew. Is it true that you have chosen to forgo- Wait, are you? Claire, okay. Yeah. Is it true that you have chosen to forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Oh, what happened to your head, lady? Can you comment on the supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? Hmm. I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that you're going to add Satterson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie and Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we're getting, uh, we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. Yeah, viewers are interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. Oh. The bologna incident. Okay. Wow. Okay. What if I were more than just a doodle? All right, Mr. Doodle, your questions of if I was not, or what I would be is gonna be hold for now. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed episode two of Sally Face. I've been enjoying it so far, and it's making me very interested in like, what is going on here and like, why is this stuff happening? Why is the police covering up stuff? Like, how deep does this go? How much deeper, like Larry, like Larry said, so much deeper than what they thought. And how does Sally go to jail? And how, what happened there? And this baloney incident. If you're interested about that, like and subscribe so you can catch up on the videos I'll be releasing on this game and much more because I want you to enjoy this as much as I am. So if you want anything else, Leave comments down below and I'll check them out and I'll see what kind of games you can play. And I'll keep putting out more content for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the flip side. Bye bye.